uh, Peter Vogel, CEO of LeafWire. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. You guys are social network for cannabis. Explain exactly what the business model is. Sure, so we launched a social network. It's just like a LinkedIn, but it's for cannabis or hemp. Uh, we also have investors on the platform, so it's not just cannabis professionals, it's investors uh, involved as well. Uh, and the business model is very similar to what LinkedIn is. It's a freemium type model where investors and cannabis professionals, they can all join for free, but then we have lots of added features and things that they can do, added benefits that they pay for. For example, posting jobs. Uh, if you want to raise money, you can be listed as a fundraising company and you a little flag that goes up so investors can find you and there's an extra fee for that. Uh, we're adding in right now a marketplace where anyone who wants to promote their services, whether you're a lawyer, a payment processing company, uh, a, a, a web serving company, no matter what you are, it's like like a yellow page is for cannabis. So. so I'm sure you have a lot of data from your point of view based on that data. What is the, big, the area that people are most excited about within cannabis right now? So what we see growing hugely is the ancillary side of the business. So I think everybody knows there's, I think about 30,000 or so licenses out there right now, a state licensed companies that can grow, transport, process, or sell. Uh, but what a lot of people don't know, and I bet most people at this conference do, but outside of cannabis, there's about three to four times as many ancillary companies as there are like yourself, for plant example. touching. Yeah, right. so we're ancillary, you could also call it non-plant touching. That's Some people use that, plant touching, non-plant touching, or you just use the word ancillary. And it's basically every service provider that makes the cannabis industry work. And so. It's everything from a packaging company to a PR company to um, a, a payment processing company to our platform, LeafWire. We're, we're an ancillary company. We service the entire business economy of cannabis, but we, we are 100% focused on cannabis. So we're a cannabis company, but we don't touch the plant. So then what trends are you sort of watching out for this year and even the next, next year or two within the ancillary business of cannabis? Uh, you know, it's really all about growth in new states, and, and you know, you know, it's funny. Unlike a lot of other industries, we're not necessarily in control of the growth or how fast things are happening. Uh, it's it's state by state. You know, every six months you see a couple states flip, and when that happens, you see hundreds or thousands of new companies, and then you also see tens of thousands of new investors. So all of a sudden, if your state goes legal, you see dollar signs and people want in. So. It's, it's really because we're in this strange legislative environment where things are still not federally legal, it, this is totally unlike any other industry because all of a sudden you have New York, you know, that's huge. One of the biggest states in the country is suddenly like going to you know, explode onto the market. And we, we don't know when, we, we guess, but uh, a lot of our growth and where business comes from, it, it just happens organically like that as states go legal. What do people primarily come to LeafWire for? So we're really, if you think about like what you would go to LinkedIn for, uh, you can find news, people post news articles, people post information about jobs, people ask for help. Like we have people that will write in and say, I'm trying to get a license in the state of Oklahoma. Does anyone know a, a consultant who can help me? Uh, I'm trying to uh, find an extraction uh, facility. I have you know, 10,000 pounds of hemp. And anyone would make a recommendation in Texas. Um, uh, jobs, news, I mean, anything, just think about, if you're a business person, you go on LinkedIn, you probably go on there to connect, you probably go on there to read, you probably go on there to like find people, to find business partners, et cetera. I and mean, then from, from the business of a social network standpoint, I imagine your primarily focus is on mobile right now, or is that not the case? You know, it's still mixed. So, still mixed? yeah, I mean, we probably have about half and half. Uh, we, you know, we, we, we look at our Google Analytics every day, and it's still a little more than half is desktop, believe it or not. And if you think about it, this is a lot of people who are sitting at work at their desks. So it's not just mobile, but I mean, like, you know, everything's going that way. So you would expect that to change slowly, but we still see about half and half right now. Well, if you play a card, right, maybe uh, Microsoft will buy you guys too for 180 bucks a share or whatever they bought LinkedIn for. But uh, Peter Vogel, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. All right.